Coronavirus, stay at home. Only leave your home if it's essential. This will help stop the spread of coronavirus. Coronavirus, stay at home. Only leave your home if it's essential. This will help stop the spread of coronavirus. C. Coronavirus, stay at home. NHS staff quitting jobs after a lack of PPE personal protective equipment. This is a thank you to the NHS. Thank you for all the hard work you are doing to try to find a vaccine and the amazing life-saving treatment you deliver the bravery of all of the NHS working hard to save others and risking your lives every day. Thank you NHS. Health Secretary Matt Hancock has revealed that the coronavirus vaccine is being tested in Oxford University and it is in the human trial this week. Scientists working incredibly hard to get a vaccine for the coronavirus. Worldwide, there are 2,790,986 confirmed cases. Stay home. This is a vital update about coronavirus. To help save lives, stay at home. Anyone can spread coronavirus. You should now only go out to an absolutely necessary for food, medicine, work or exercise. Always try to stay two metres apart. Do not meet others outside your household, even friends and family. Stay home. Protect the NHS. Save lives. It is crucial we follow government advice. And stay at home. Protect the NHS and save lives. Stay, protect, save, be a hero. If we don't follow government advice it may get very dangerous, globally. Stay home. Protect the NHS. Save lives. Be a hero. Breaking news. Earlier on today, there was 2.79 million cases. Now, there is worldwide 2.83 million cases. I repeat, 2.83 million cases. Recovered, 799,000. Deaths, 198,000. United Kingdom, confirmed, 148,000 confirmed cases. Deaths, 20,319. Breaking news. COVID-19 is a new illness that can affect your lungs and airways. It's caused by a virus called coronavirus, strain COVID-19, a novel coronavirus. Breaking news. COVID-19 is a new illness that can affect your lungs and airways. The main symptoms of coronavirus, COVID-19 strain, are a high temperature and a new continuous cough. Everyone must stay at home to help stop coronavirus, strain COVID-19 from spreading. Wash your hands with soap and water often to reduce the risk of infection. You can usually treat mild coronavirus COVID-19 symptoms at home. If your symptoms are severe, you may need medical care until, care until you recover. Breaking news. COVID-19 death toll reaches over 20,000 in the UK. Breaking news. Criminals using fraudulent behaviour fraudulent behavior, and creating fake websites and claiming to sell PPE personal protective equipment where there is none. There is no personal protective equipment there to be sold. So watch out for those scammers that scam you for PPE when you pay for it online because it may be a dodgy site. Only shop on sites you trust. Save lives by staying home, protecting others, saving our NHS and saving lives, plus being a hero. Stay home, be a hero. As an ICU nurse who sees only COVID patients currently and is watching them get extremely sick and die alone um, without their loved ones, I cannot stress enough how incredibly important it is to stay at home, which means you don't see your neighbors or your friends or your parents or your grandparents. Um, you only see the people that you live with in your household. I have two little kids and we're losing our minds over here some days, but it's, it's definitely worth it and better than having my parents be in the ICU alone or having my grandma be in the ICU alone. Bye, you wanna wave bye? Bye. Bye.
Stay home. I want to update you on the latest steps we're taking to fight the disease and what you can do to help. And I want to begin by reminding you why the UK has been taking the approach that we have. Without a huge national effort to halt the growth of this virus, there will come a moment when no health service in the world could possibly cope because there won't be enough ventilators, enough intensive care beds, enough doctors and nurses. And as we've seen elsewhere in other countries that also have fantastic healthcare systems, that is the moment of real danger. To put it simply, if too many people become seriously unwell at one time, the NHS will be unable to handle it, meaning more people are likely to die, not just from coronavirus, but from other illnesses as well. So it's vital to slow the spread of the disease, because that is the way we reduce the number of people needing hospital treatment at any one time, so we can protect the NHS's ability to cope and save more lives. And that's why we've been asking people to stay at home during this pandemic. And though huge numbers are complying, and I thank you all, the time has now come for us all to do more. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Because the critical thing we must do to stop the disease spreading between households. That is why people will only be allowed to leave their home for the following very limited purposes. Shopping for basic necessities as infrequently as possible. One form of exercise a day, for example, a run, walk or cycle, alone or with members of your household. Any medical need to provide care or to help a vulnerable person. And travelling to and from work but only where this is absolutely necessary and cannot be done from home. That's all. These are the only reasons you should leave your home. You should not be meeting friends. If your friends ask you to meet, you should say no. You should not be meeting family members who do not live in your home. You should not be going shopping except for shops selling non-essential goods, including clothing and electronic stores and other premises including libraries, playgrounds and outdoor gyms and places of worship, will stop all gatherings of more than two people in public, excluding people you live with, and will stop all social events, including weddings, baptisms and other ceremonies, but excluding funerals. Parks will remain open for exercise, shops selling non-essential goods, including clothing and electronic stores and other premises, including libraries, playgrounds and outdoor gyms and places of worship, will stop all gatherings of more than two people in public, excluding people you live with, and will stop all social events, including weddings, baptisms and other ceremonies, but excluding funerals. Parks will remain open for exercise, but gatherings will be dispersed. No Prime Minister wants to enact measures like this. I know the damage that this disruption is doing and will do to people's lives, to their businesses and to their jobs. And that's why we've produced a huge and unprecedented programme of support both for workers and for business. And I can assure you that we will keep these restrictions under constant review. We will look again in three weeks and relax them if the evidence shows we are able to. But at present, there are just no easy options. The way ahead is hard. And it is still true that many lives... Stay home. Breaking news. SEN schools remain open to the vulnerable and those are key workers. But should they accept more than a certain amount of students? That's the question that we've all got. Because due to social distancing and everything else, if there's about 80 students in an SEN school all going smothering each other. How can that be social distancing? This is a very complicated one as some really struggle. However, others do not need to be there as much. Breaking. I believe SEN schools should have a maximum of 10 students allowed at a time in one day. And they should be very careful 
about who they let in and they should start giving out tests. However, this is not possible as of yet. The smaller the school, the less students, even if it's a special school, same applies in my belief.